taught you, please, who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you, please, who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? We teach you to love the hair that God gave you. Can you explain to us about how important the beard is in Islam? Well, this wasn't relative to the topic, but I'll just say this. Clearly, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ordered us to leave it. Now, leave it means let it grow, in case you don't know. It doesn't mean leave it off. Leave it means leave it to grow. And just clip, he said, clip the mustache. Clip the mustache so it doesn't grow inside your mouth and that it's not unclean, it's not unsanitary. Clip the mustache and let the beard grow. For the beard, the beard is a natural sign of manliness. And it's a natural sign of distinguishing men from women. And among the companions of the Prophet وسلم, they used not to even look at a man who shaved his beard for fear they may have desire for him. <laughs> so the importance of the beard is not just something, um, as somebody might say, just something of your own particular choice. You like it or you don't like it, I want to wear my beard, I don't want to. If you decide willfully to shave your beard, you are willfully disobeying the Prophet Wasallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he cursed the women that look like men, and he cursed the men that look like women. So let every Muslim fear Allah and make his own decision about this issue, but it's a very clear issue. Who taught you, please, who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Yeah. Mm. The most got the hairy fraud. I can tell by your beard you don't love Allah. You got the Brian Gumble face.